Hey everyone, and welcome back to another video. Today, we are going to do something really exciting with our mobile devices. I'm going to walk you through how to install, or more specifically, how to dual boot Kali NetHunter Pro on supported devices. For this specific tutorial, I'm using a OnePlus 6T. Right now, this device is running Lineage OS 22.2 as my daily driver, which effectively gives me Android 15. The goal for today is to keep that Android system completely intact, but utilize the device's partition system to dual boot it alongside NetHunter Pro. Now, a quick disclaimer before we jump in. While I am using the OnePlus 6T, codenamed Fajita, the dual booting process logic is very similar across most supported Snapdragon 845 devices. However, command specifics can vary slightly, so always keep your specific model in mind. We will be following the official Kali Linux documentation strictly to ensure everything goes smoothly. Before we start throwing commands at the terminal, let's take a minute to talk about what we are actually installing. This is not the standard NetHunter you might be used to seeing on Android. This is Kali NetHunter Pro. The standard NetHunter usually runs as an overlay on top of your existing Android system. It's a great tool, but it has its limitations because it's bound by the Android kernel and environment. NetHunter Pro is different. It is a bare metal, pure Kali Linux distribution specifically designed for ARM64 devices. When you boot into this, you aren't running Android anymore. You are running a full desktop class Linux operating system. It replaces the Android layer entirely on the partition it boots from. This transforms your compatible mobile device into a truly portable hacking machine. It brings almost every tool you would find on the desktop version of Kali right into your pocket without the restrictions of an Android environment. Another massive feature for supported devices, like the Pine Phone or the OnePlus 6 and 6T, is the desktop experience. You can plug your phone into a monitor via HDMI and suddenly you have a full workstation. And yes, because we are dual booting today, you get to have all of this power without sacrificing your standard Android phone capabilities. You can switch between them whenever you want. So, can you install this on your current phone? NetHunter Pro is highly optimized, so the list of supported devices is specific. As of right now, NetHunter Pro officially supports the Pine Phone and the Pine Phone Pro, the Poco F1, also known as Beryllium, the OnePlus 6, codenamed Enchilada, the OnePlus 6T, codenamed Fajita, the Xiaomi Mi Mix 2S, and the SH6 MQ. There is also support being developed for the Nothing Phone 1, but keep in mind that is currently in a pre-release state and hasn't been fully tested for daily driving just yet. If you have one of the other devices I mentioned, you are ready to proceed. First, we need to grab the correct files. You'll want to head over to the official Kali Linux website at kali.org backslash getkali. Scroll down the page until you see the section tailored for mobile and specifically look for NetHunter Pro. It is crucial that you download the correct image for your hardware. Since I'm using the OnePlus 6T, I'm looking for the Fajita image. If you are on the regular OnePlus 6, you need the Enchilada image. Don't mix these up or you might run into boot issues. Download the zip file to your computer and extract it. Inside, you should find a generic root file system image and a kernel boot image specific to your device. Now, let's get into the installation. You need to have Fastboot installed on your computer. Connect your phone to your PC and boot it into Fastboot mode. Usually, you do this by holding volume down and the power button simultaneously while the phone is off. Open up your terminal or command prompt in the folder where you extracted your files. The first thing we need to do is prepare the image file. It usually comes compressed as an .xz file. You can decompress this using the command .xz-d followed by the full name of the Kali NetHunter image file, ending in .img.xz. 
Once that is extracted, we need to figure out where we're going to install this. Most modern Android devices like the OnePlus 6T use AB partitions. This means there are two copies of your operating system slots, slot A and slot B. To dual boot, we need to know which slot you are currently using for your main Android system so we don't accidentally overwrite it. In your terminal, type fastboot-getvar backslash current slot. For me, the terminal says my current slot is A. This means my Lineage OS is living on slot A. To dual boot, I want to flash NetHunter Pro to the inactive slot, which would be slot B. So, I need to switch the active slot to B explicitly. I will type fastboot set active B. If your current slot was B, you would switch to A. Now that my active slot is set to the empty one, we can flash the system. Now listen carefully here. This next command involves the user data partition. While we are flashing to a different slot, it is always best practice to back up your important data before doing any flashing just in case something goes wrong. We are going to flash the file system. The command is fastboot flash user data followed by the generic NetHunter Pro root file system image name. Hit enter and give this a moment. It is a large file, so it will take a bit of time to transfer and write to the device. Once that is finished, we need to flash the kernel, which allows the Linux system to boot. The command for this is fastboot flash boot, followed by the specific boot image file for your device model that was in the zip folder. There is one final very important step for OnePlus users. We need to erase the DTBO partition to prevent conflicts. Simply run fastboot erase DTBO. And that is it for the installation commands. You have successfully flashed the OS to the secondary partition. Now you can type fastboot reboot to restart your phone. Since this is the very first time you are booting into Kali NetHunter Pro, you need to be patient. The system has to resize the file system to fit your device's storage and generate the necessary keys. This first boot process can take up to five minutes. You might see the Kali logo just sitting there. Do not turn off the phone, just let it do its thing. Once it finishes, you will be greeted by the login screen. It's a full Linux login manager. The default password for the user is simply the numbers 1234. Type that in, hit enter, and you're in. You are now running a full desktop class Linux distribution natively on your smartphone. From here, you can open a terminal, run an update, or start exploring the tools. Remember, because we dual booted, if you ever want to go back to Android, you just need to reboot into fastboot mode and set your active slot back to the original one. That's going to wrap it up for this installation guide. I'll be making a separate video soon where we will do a full review of the features, test out the tools, and see how the battery life holds up in a real-world scenario, so make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss that. If this video helped you get up and running, please hit that like button. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.